What you put into Delta Gamma is what you get out of it. This is one of the first things I heard as a new member. And now, standing up in front of this chapter for the last time, I can tell you nothing's ever been more true. I found love and I found the love and loyalty I've been looking for my entire life in this room. But to find this, I had to change, and I had to put something into it. I had to learn how to be vulnerable for the first time in my life and open my heart and my mind to let the women around me shape me and change me. If I didn't, I wouldn't have received this lifetime of love that I've gained. So four weeks ago, as many of you guys know, I thought I would spend my night pumpkin carving with all of you. Yet, that was not the case. I walked down to the car, actually, to get my little disposable camera to capture these memories, as one does in Gen Z, you know, snap a photo, wait two months, get it developed, see how it turns out. When, bang, I slipped, fell, looked down, my kneecap was over here. Mm. Not a great visual, I know, I know. But, there was happiness in the pain. As I waited for the ambulance to come, and all of my sisters gathered around me, I could not stop laughing. We were cracking jokes, just being silly as we are. And this is because of the friendships that I have made and the genuine genuinity of these girls. Now, throughout the recovery process and throughout the ride to the ambulance, the time in the hospital, I was just happy. And this is because the women around me are so incredible. As I started the recovery process, I developed another syndrome all the way, something that we all know is FOMO. Well, I got to watch everyone else go out on Halloween, it's my favorite holiday, and watch everyone live up their last moment of the first semester of senior year. I was sitting at home, propping my knee up, very sad. But all of you guys continued to text me and be like, a few more weeks, we'll, be, we'll do something fun after, just hold out. And the whole, as my spirits started to crash, everyone gathered around me to lift them back up. It's hard to be scared and hard to feel left out when you have such an incredible community around you lifting you up. I don't know exactly how to put into words the love that I've received from this chapter, but like a car switching lanes, let's switch from my traumatic little story to something cute and fun. So I'm going to tell you one of the happiest memories of my life. This probably isn't even a story because there's no action, no conflict, no resolution, but it's just a happy memory. On Labor Day weekend, I woke up in the morning and saw four alumni spread out across my room, four DG alumni. I have, have been having a rough time missing them since graduation, and just every day at school would look out and just see what I've lost from these missing friendships. But when I woke up in the morning and saw all the people I love gathered around me, my heart has never felt so full. I knew that these women are like my, are my family. On my wedding day, they'll be standing up there next to me. My kids are going to know the values that I've learned from them, and they're going to continue to live out those values. Like I said, what you put into DG is what you get out of it. But convert that one step further. What you put into life is what you get out of it. Live your life as a teapot and pour out love, grace, and honesty into others. Always do good, and you will grow and change in ways that you've never, you never expect that you could. Thank you.